This is a switch capacitor with a VARCOM 2600 control panel from HD Electric. If the switch is on auto, it can be automatically controlled based on its program settings. If I want to operate it locally, first turn this off of auto and then turn this switch to local so I have full control of the device. Both the auto and the SCADA active lights should turn off. SCADA active indicates the device is being operated remotely. And COM active indicates that SCADA has sent information within the past five minutes. Time delay can be set anywhere from three to 600 seconds. And since we have it off of auto, we can use the manual toggle switch to operate it. The operations pinning light will blink for five seconds since that's what we set our time delay for. Now that the switches are open, we need to wait at least five minutes to give the capacitors time to discharge. Now that the capacitor has had time to discharge, let's look at how to operate it manually. Each phase has its own switch with a yellow handle. To open it, simply pull down on the yellow handle. And to close it, push it up. Looking back at the panel, the monitor notch allows me to monitor the line voltage, the temperature, and the current in real time. You also have four different customized schedules that could be set to specific days of the week or holidays. For example, if you have a circuit that powers an industrial facility, it can be set with the working hours of the plant so that the capacitor can open when demand is low. Next is the max ops per day function. This allows you to set the maximum number of automatic closer operations for a rolling 24 hour period. The next two notches let you set the time and the date and the PT ratio lets you change the ratio of the potential transformer. Lastly is the neutral lamps trip reset function. This allows you to reset the panel after it's open due to an imbalance in current between the neutral and the phases, which is a nice feature for monitoring the health of the capacitor. If the trip light is on, it's a good indication that one of the capacitor banks is starting to short circuit. The panel is also equipped with Bluetooth and a USB port for connecting to the computer. Before leaving, don't forget to turn this back to remote and this to auto. For Northwest Lyman College, I'm Travis Christensen. Work safe out there.